The Republican National Convention kicks off in Milwaukee and there's a big focus on security just days after a gunman opened fire at the former president's rally in Butler, Pennsylvania over the weekend. Yeah, federal agents are uh, now looking uh, into a motive of why the man who was killed did what he did. Sabrina Fraza has more on the convention, the shooting, all from Milwaukee. There's a heavy security presence in Milwaukee as the Republican National Convention begins later today. I feel pretty safe. The U.S. Secret Service says it's keeping its security plan as is. Just two days after a gunman opened fire at former President Trump's rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. We have accounted for various security scenarios that may arise and we are confident in the plan we have implemented. Former President Donald Trump arrived here in Milwaukee yesterday. In a newspaper interview, he said he plans to change his speech later in the week in light of the shooting. Trump also said had he not looked away from the crowd at the moment of the shooting, he may have been killed. During an Oval Office address, President Biden said he had a brief phone conversation with Trump after the shooting. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. It's time to cool it down. Authorities say the gunman, identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, was killed by a U.S. Secret Service sniper. Investigators say an AR-style rifle found near his body was purchased legally and registered to his father, and that bomb materials were found in his home and vehicle. We had graduated with him, and it was just something I would have never seen coming. President Biden has ordered an independent review of the incident. The FBI is investigating the shooting as an assassination attempt and potential domestic terrorism. Sabrina Franza, CBS News, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Investigators say the gunman's family is cooperating with this investigation. In just 30 minutes, we're going to learn more about the victims of this shooting, including Corey Compertori, who was killed while protecting his family.